Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by receiving a courtesy visit from Singapore's Ambassador to CARICOM, Her Excellency Karen Ming, at State House on Monday. President Ali presented copies of his publications from Crisis to Opportunities and Post-COVID-19 Ukraine-Russia Crises, while Ambassador Tan presented gifts to the Head of State. President Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali on Tuesday underscored the importance of enhancing food production and integrating food security objectives with poverty and inequality reduction efforts. This is pivotal to secure food and nutrition in Latin America and the Caribbean. He was addressing the community of Latin American and Caribbean states, CELAC, high-level ministers of agriculture meeting held at the Arthur Tong Conference Center. So we can speak about this nutrition in the region and food security in the region if we don't also bring into the discourse poverty reduction strategy and reducing inequality. Very important, very fundamental to what we're doing. President Ali emphasized the role of health, education and technology in achieving this goal urging CELAC to develop an action plan that outlines the sector's involvement in addressing the issue. How will we treat investment within the CELAC family? How do we get a common policy decision that we may remove corporate tax from any investment in agriculture within the CELAC region from any member of the CELAC family? What are the type of policies that you'll recommend at the end of this conference to be policies that are so comprehensive that you must think about adopting them throughout the region? Between 2019 and 2021, the region witnessed a concerning rise in hunger, with an increase of 13.2 million people surpassing the global average. President Ali has therefore called on CELAC to adopt a proactive program that specifically involves women and youths, given the region's escalating hunger rate. On Wednesday, President Ali interacted with students from Leonora Primary School during their tour of State House. It is a day when believers come together to share meals, exchange greetings, and extend their generosity to others. At the heart of Eid, lies the story of Prophet Abraham's supreme act of faith when he was tested by God. Abraham's love and loyalty to God were put to the ultimate test as he was instructed to sacrifice his beloved son. Despite the obvious inner turmoil this command brought upon him, Abraham displayed unshakable faith, unwavering loyalty, and unfaltering obedience to God. Abraham's example stands as a supreme measure of total trust in God. The story of Abraham reminds us that challenges and difficulties are a test of our character and provide opportunities to strengthen and deepen our faith and repose greater and more trust in the author of life, God. After Eid prayers on Thursday morning at the Leonora Sonatul Jamat, President Dr. Ali said the significance of the day goes beyond the sacrifice, noting the need to be charitable and to share with the less fortunate. Later that day, President Ali released a statement on the development of Ghana's foreign policy. At the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, everyone was high in praise for Ghana's leadership on the issue of climate change, the low carbon development strategy and forest. So we have engaged Commonwealth. We had engagement with Ghana, Rwanda, seeking to marry our technology, seeking to integrate what we do. Our local content legislation benefited from best practices in Ghana too. I've been asked to give the keynote address at more than 150 events. Of course, I could not have done all of those. Humanly impossible. But I'm 
giving you these figures so you understand in what esteem our country is held today. His Excellency, President Dr. Irfan Ali, met with a number of small, medium and large-scale poultry farmers from across the country on Friday morning. Discussions surrounded the current state of the poultry industry and short, medium and long-term solutions. Suggestions were made on how to make the industry more competitive and a type of support the government can give. This was the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next time.